Well, hello, fellow YouTubers. Don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower. Uh, today we're going to try a new recipe. Another, well, this isn't cooking with cat. This is baking with cat. How's that? And I want to use some of this um, almond flour. It's showing up backwards. Um, anyway, it's, it's a super fine blanched almond flour. And there's a recipe on the back that says... Okay, I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to read this because it's probably going to be backwards. Because I haven't figured out how to flip my camera back around so that it doesn't read backwards when I'm doing like a selfie. Anyway, um, it's a gluten-free, guilt-free rosemary thyme crackers. Now, the, why am I doing this? Well, one, I have a lot of cream cheese that I want to eat and crackers that I can do that are going to be low-carb. Perfect, right? So this one is, so two tablespoons, I'll have to work this out. Two tablespoons is three grams of carbs. Um, and it's two grams of dietary fiber and one gram of sugar. I don't know why it has sugar in here, but because it should just be almond flour. But anyway, um, I wonder if this other one I have has the same. Oh, this one's this one the Anthony's is even more it's a five grams of carbs three grams of fiber one gram of sugar so this one's got more fiber and also more carbs all right so if we were doing keto that would be two grams of carbs and this one would be one grams of carb all right anyway I'm gonna be using this one up um, I have uh, had these in my freezer for about two and a half weeks. Um, I'm going to probably vacuum seal the Anthony's one and put it away in my pantry. So, let me bring you on in and see if I can put you somewhere where the lighting will stay more consistent. And um, let's get mixing and then baking. Okay, so in here I have two cups of almond flour. In this bowl, let's see, oh, hold on, let me do this. This bowl, I have two eggs to which I'm going to add uh, one and a fourth tablespoon of olive oil. Sorry, my dog's drinking. It's one of the dogs. One. Yeah, maybe a generous one fourth. Um, my oven is preheated to 350. Okay. In here, I have a mixture of rosemary and thyme, uh, fresh rosemary. I just went out and plucked it this morning and washed it and dried it. And um, it is my fresh thyme, but I let it dry. So, um, and my plant is gone. It died over the summer. So, um, but anyway, this is two and a half tablespoons of fresh rosemary and thyme, finely chopped. In here, I have half a teaspoon of sea salt. And I think that's it. Let me double check. Yep, that's it. Okay, so uh, it says to whisk the eggs and the olive oil. We are going to okay, combine um, the rosemary and thyme into our bowl. Sorry about that. And our salt. No, it doesn't say to do this part, but I'm going to go ahead and just stir this together. I did let the eggs sit out to get kind of to room temperature. 
for a little bit. Okay. And then it just says, uh, and mix until thoroughly, thoroughly, no, mix until fully integrated. That's thoroughly integrated. What do you think? Yeah. All right, now, all my dirty dishes down. It says to put out parchment paper. of parchment paper. just kicked on in the house and I run hot so it's like I don't need that all right so let's bring you guys over here now please keep in mind this is my first time doing this sake of cleanup, I'm going to put on a glove, now it says to make this into a ball, and we're going to start flattening it out, okay, okay. now, that looks good, all right, Now is where you get to do you, right? So, rolling pin. It doesn't say how thin to make it, but it should yield about 32 crackers. I don't know. I think I'm going to need a bigger parchment. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah. All right. Hold on a sec. Let me fix this. All right. I just went ahead and, and rolled this out as best I could off camera. Um, I don't know if it's an even thickness or not. At this point, I don't care. You know, they're homemade, right? All right. So, don't think I'm going to get 32 crackers out of this, but we'll see. So, now it says to cut them. Okay. So, I'm going to cut them little crackers. Yeah, I supposed to use a knife or a cookie cutter, but I'm using my dough scraper. Oops, I'm doing but I can't pull a straight line, huh? All right, let's go back this way. Okay, so now these are going to go into the oven. 
that's just one one to two inch square so that's about right um 12 to 15 minutes so okay all right so we will be back when these are out of the oven and we'll see what they taste like after they're cooled all right so i cooked these for about 18 minutes on the bottom shelf closest to the element um they're a little a little bit brown they're still hot so um but they're they do snap apart so I'm gonna let these completely cool. I did taste um, a little bit, and I'm gonna say honestly, they're actually pretty good. Like I said, it's still hot, so they're not crunchy yet. But the flavor, mm mm. Gotta like rosemary though, and thyme. But wow, the salt comes out in it, really good. I'm not sure I'm gonna give these to my nephew now. All right, so I may be making another batch. I'm gonna let these finish cooling. I'm gonna get a quick picture. And um, there you go. All right. Well, thank you once again for uh, joining me for a video. And I hope you enjoyed this great discovery of gluten-free and very low-carb crackers. Okay, um, if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know if you want to see the next video, what I'm going to do with that almond flour uh, for dinner one night, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night, but we'll see. Anyway, um, like I said, if you like my videos and you want to keep seeing them, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified. I try to upload every other week on a Friday. Not always successful right now. It's today. Today's Sunday, and I'm uploading Friday's video right now. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. I can't think of anything else except please thumbs up. Mash that subscribe button. And if you want to just get notifications, hit the bell button. It'll just notify you, like, strictly. Hey, can't put up another video. Come on and check it out. We will. Honest. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.